Two months ago, Dayton City Commissioners passed a new rule focusing on ATVs on city streets. Leaders want to stop scenes like this where dozens of ATVs take over streets. And a different time, and we also reported on in the past, an ATV ran the Dayton police officer. City leaders want officers to be able to go after those riders and write them tickets for reckless operation. Parents said they are concerned after we uncovered police are focusing and on Huber Heights and a city staff member there when it comes to a school member. The district told New Center 7 it is investigating an allegation involving a school staff member. Police said they could not comment. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to take it. I'm actually really disappointed that the school didn't send a notice out to any of the parents letting them know that something was going on. The district would not tell New Center 7 if it put that employee on leave. Every year right around this time, amateur ham radio lovers are all in on the Greene County Fairgrounds. It's Hamvention Weekend, the biggest radio gathering in the world. Every year, this attracts tens of thousands of hammers. Whether it's people from Middletown, Minot, North Dakota, or Mexico, this is their Super Bowl of radio gatherings. The first Hamvention was in downtown Dayton back in 1952. More than 700 volunteers worked this week to get the fairgrounds ready. Hamvention goes through Sunday. And a, I love that big smile right there. Rain never slows down. Storm Center 7 weather specialist Nick Dunn. You can see how he spent the day. He rode in on Storm Tracker 7 to the Touch a Truck event with Dayton Public Schools. Good to see the kids right there enjoying their time in front of Storm Tracker. I'm guessing that he might have met some future Storm Center 7 meteorologists. What do you think, my friend? I certainly hope so. That's <laughs> always good to see. Uh, they have had a great turnout today good. despite all of the rain, and I'm yeah. glad that that, got out, that that got out of the way there. We've actually got a nice weekend in store. You, you like some warm temperatures? Uh, I, I do. Uh, humidity, I'm not a big fan of it. I'll take the warm. Yeah, well, we're going to have a little bit of both over the next seven days. We'll take you outside late this evening out to Miami Township. We are starting to see some clearing out there. You notice the visibility there at 10 miles, so... For right now, we're good. We may have some fog a few hours from now. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. 66 degrees with a light southwest wind at 6, so it's pretty mild out there. That's what we would expect for late May. We take you out to live dial for 7 late this evening. Temperatures, everybody's pretty warm out there this evening. 61 in Wapakoneta and in Richmond, some of our cooler spots. 63 in Bell Fountain. 66 also in Oxford, tied with us right now here in Dayton for the warmest in the Miami Valley. And we take you through tonight. We're going to continue to see some clearing. And because of all the rain you've had today, you like leave that a little bit of low-level moisture out there. After that, it wants some fog to deal with tomorrow morning. It does appear. Now, you notice visibility could drop below a mile at times in spots. But I don't expect this to be the worst fog we've ever experienced. But we'll get that to mix out during the late morning into the early afternoon. And once we get past that fog, we do expect plenty of sunshine and just a few clouds into the afternoon. So if you have any plans to spend a lot of time outdoors tomorrow, a UV index going all the way up to about 8. So if you're not wearing a hat and sunscreen, that sunburn might set in in about 20 to 25 minutes. So don't forget to wear that sunscreen if you plan on being outdoors for any extended period of time. That's also going to be a quite a warm weekend in store for us, 85 by Sunday. Our typical high for this time of the year is 74. So we're cranking the heat up. We're into the middle 80s Monday into Tuesday. We could even see a heat index a couple of days next week getting pretty close to 90 degrees. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water if you plan on spending a lot of time outdoors, a little cooler Wednesday as we see our next chance for showers and storms arrive. So there's that fog starting to overspread the area through tomorrow morning. Again, I don't expect it to be necessarily the worst fog we've ever had, but certainly some reduced visibility. Just allow a little bit of extra time for any early morning plans you have. Into the afternoon, that fog mixes out, and we trade that in for maybe a spotty pop-up or two. You notice how spotty the coverage of the rain here is into the afternoon. That starts to fade away by Saturday night. Sunday, we'll start the day with mainly clear skies and a little cooler. Temperatures in the 50s, but we re rebound into the middle 80s during the afternoon. Future cash tries to pop a shower or two, but I think we get through Sunday dry with no rain the way it looks right now. Speaking of those rainfall totals through tomorrow, look how spotty these rainfall little showers may end up being for us. Not much of any measurable precipitation, but it will depend on where exactly those little showers pop up across the area. Your Storm Center 7-day forecast shows we're cranking the heat up Sunday, Monday, into the middle 80s, so we hang on to the 80s through Tuesday and Wednesday. That next chance of showers and storms coming Wednesday, and then a little cooler for Thursday into Friday. New at 11, she's 17 years old and just won that free car. Good grades and something else put her in the fast lane to win this here in the Valley. And controversy for P. Diddy. Security cameras appeared to capture him, chase his then girlfriend down a hall, and attack her. We're going to show you the video in just a minute. I have 